All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and of course, fish and accomplices. Good morning and welcome back to fishing. So we are now at the end of March um, and yeah, it's been a, a tough month to finish out. Um, the fish are around and I'm talking mainly about salt water. Problem is, is that the weather just is not lined up for me and my schedule. I'm working full time right now. Got some other things on my plate too. And that aside, uh, every time I get the time off the fish, uh, it's just been something. Last weekend it was torrential downpours and wind. This weekend it's wind. Um, and basically to sit out the entire weekend last week. So rather than do that again, uh, what we're going to do right now is some freshwater fishing. Uh, as much as I would love to go saltwater fishing, I mean, it is howling right now. Uh, so we're going to fish an area that might be a little bit sheltered. Additionally, I don't have a ton of time, so I can't really, you know, get too creative with where I'm going. I don't want to go too far, only to fish for a very short time and have to come back. So I've got a brief window to work with, and that's what we're going for. And I don't even know if this is going to work, but it's really the only uh, hand I can play right now. So that being said, uh, we're going for trout haven't done this for a few weeks um, but bite has been picking up I've heard and it doesn't surprise me things are warming up uh, I might be able to get out in the salt water a bit later but for right now uh, if you're watching this it's gonna be half decent so thank you for checking it out thank you for staying tuned because you know what we're about to do get some fishing accomplished okay we're getting on the water it's about 6 45 a little earlier actually Wanted to get out before sunrise. I got maybe three hours-ish, which might sound like a lot, but it goes by fast, uh, especially if it's slow or a hot bite. We're gonna start things off with this uh, three-quarter ounce Castmaster. It's been doing a lot of good work for me this season so far, fishing for lake trout from shore. It's a good play thing to start with, just to get some range, cover more ground, and then after that, we'll see what we can do. It might not look it, but it's really windy out. We're just in a fairly sheltered area, but let's play the range game. See if you can find some fish. Okay, first cast. Launch it out there. No way, first cast. No way. That's what I'm talking about. Is that a brown? I think it's a brown. No, it's a bass. What? <laughs> no way. Didn't bring my bass stuff. It's a chunkster right there. All right. Well, hopefully we're rolling for all that, but uh, first cast, what do you, what do you know? Smallmouth bass, not a huge one, pound and a half fish, but uh, first cast, can't be upset about that. All right, first cast fish of the year so far. Hoping this doesn't mean it's a five minute curse. Shouldn't even say that out loud, but let's get right back out. But yeah, I launched that out there into probably 30 to 40, maybe even 50 feet of water dragged it back along the bottom and then as we got closer i started moving it a bit faster just because there's a bit of a, a ledge here i don't want to get hung up on and he jumped on it so good start Let's see what else we can do yeah so it was pretty nice to get that fish right from the get-go but i definitely didn't have the greatest day after that it took quite a while for me to get another hit uh, and unfortunately it didn't quite go the way i wanted Got him. Just as I was about to give up on this lure. Uh, he's not, no, he dropped it. Damn. Had him for a second. Let's try and launch it back out there and see if he'll come back. Wasn't on there very long. And it was just as I was about to give up on this lure. So it just shows you gotta be patient sometimes with these fish, but uh, I know they're here. Just what kind of bite are we dealing with today? 
Yeah, so that fish was long gone. I didn't get another lake trout hit that I know of for sure for the rest of the day. Uh, but the next interesting development was um, still trying to fish for lake trout. I had a few follow-ups that came right up to my feet. Some of them were very close calls, but uh, unfortunately that also didn't go my way. Oh man, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Got him. Oh. Brown just followed it all the way in. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Come on. Come on. Just had another brown follow it in. I don't know if it's the same fish. Maybe it looked a little smaller. Might even have been a bass. I don't know. It looked kind of bassy. First one definitely looked like a brown, though. Oh, there it is. Oh, no! Come on! Had him smash it right in front of me. Yeah, so that was unfortunate. Um, had that fish or several fish follow it up several times, a couple of them smacking it just like that, uh, but couldn't keep them connected. Some of them even looked like they might have been bass, which was kind of surprising to me, but I guess it's starting to warm up now, so it's not that much out of the question. Uh, but regardless, I tried a few different types of presentations, and I did move around a little bit, and I didn't have as much time on this morning as I typically would. Uh, so after a while, um, I tried just before I was about to get out to switch into a very, very small Kitek uh, with like a 10th ounce jig head, 4-inch uh, Easy Shiner, and well, it didn't take long. Let's see what happened. When all else fails, go with the small Kitek. Know there's bass around, so maybe they'll hit with us. Cause it's usually my go-to, but it is a little early in the season. This wind's not going to make things easy. It's a little heavy of a setup or a rod for this, but we'll try. We will try. Brown would hit this too, I bet. Yo, we're on. No way. No way. No way. Bet it's a bass. It's got to be a bass. That's got to be a bass. Is it? Or is it a trout? It's a trout. <laughs> oh! When all else fails, what do I say? Yo! <laughs> Easy, easy. <laughs> when all else fails. <sighs> Pretty little guy. Just spit it too. Pretty. Cool. Alright, well that just shows what we probably should have been doing all day, but let's see if we can close out on a good note. I bet there's more than one fish here. Well, I guess that trout just shows what I should have done after watching all those follow-ups earlier. Uh, while the fish were interested in that spoon, I think I had to move it a little faster than I should have been to not get caught in the bottom. Versus using this Kitek with this ultra light jig head, I was able to fish it a lot slower uh, and kind of keep it in the fish's face uh, in a point that they probably would have to strike it. So if I could have done this day all over again, I would have still fished for lake trout, you know, not knowing what I'd encounter, but had another rod set up with that Kitek just in case something like the follow-ups I had did happen. 
Uh, and if I do see the, these repeated follow-ups, or if you do, if this ever happens to you, uh, just have something like that ready, you know, to throw in front of the fish if they are interested, but maybe not super inclined to hit the, the presentation you're throwing. But yeah, uh, as I said, this was just at the end of my fishing session. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time this day, so I had to basically call it after that. Uh, but overall, you know, not too bad. Uh, I could have went saltwater fishing on this day from shore if I had bait, but I didn't have it, and I didn't have a lot of time, so I figured this would be easier and more time-effective for what I did have. So sorry if you're looking for the saltwater. There is more on the way soon, I promise you. Uh, but until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye from fishing.